to another video tutorial here I'll be showing you how to upgrade your Windows Server 2008 how to or Windows Server 2008 to Windows Server 2012 okay basically we have the data center edition installed on the Windows Server 2008 how to so we'll be upgrading to Windows Server 2012 data center okay now we need I need you to follow the steps okay as I go on all right and then you make sure your server is having the minimum requirement to run the Windows Server 2012 data center before you start upgrading okay now and after that actually we also need to have uh, our server okay on the functional level of 2003 server 2003 okay so if you're not sure about that you have to check it okay so you go to start administrative tools and uh, users and computers all right so you right click on your domain name which is combined is going to see.com then you go for race functional level at currently at server 2003 okay so I'm gonna leave it there that's what it should be or higher all right so cancel it and then that is the server functional level okay now we also have the domain functional level which is on the other active directory domains in trash okay so you right click on your domain name rich domain functional level it's currently at server 2003 okay so it needs to be at 2003 before you upgrade okay now we are not only upgrading we are also migrating i migrate because we already have a domain controller creator here on the server 2008 how to and then we also have a user account creator so let's check on that okay you can see we have user user bin we have boss group okay we have a lot of um, customized cost customization we've done here on so we want to upgrade and make sure after upgrading to server 2012 the information should still be the same okay so now before you start to upgrade you need to follow the steps okay you insert your server 2012 okay CD in there and then you open it okay and then you go for support okay here we have all core ad prep that's active directory preparation you want to prepare the server for an upgrade okay so after open this window you open your command prompt okay so my command prompt is here okay we want to prepare this domain okay for an upgrade so you open the ed prep and then you look for the ad prep file application and drag it into the command line when we drag it you see it gives us a full path okay to the location of the ad prep we just drag it and then give a space and then you give a forward slash and type in the forest prep okay this is the first one I'm going to run so press and enter okay now doing this it will ask you okay before running ad prep all windows at the directory domain in the, in the forest must run windows server 2000 must run windows server 2003 or later which means you can what upgrade from server 2003 service pack 1 okay to server 2012 okay based on the particular and then you can also upgrade from 2008 2008 r2 server 2012 okay whichever way but this is the way to upgrade okay just follow the step so now it says uh do you want to continue okay so if you want to continue type in c if you don't want to no cancel just press enter so i'll type in c and press enter okay so it will start preparing my forest for the upgrade Okay, so it started, it started preparing my progress for the upgrade. Okay, I'm just gonna watch that and finish. Now you can see it says it just completed successfully. So you, you don't have to stop that, make sure it finishes before it starts. Alright, now we're done with the forest preparation. We also need to prepare the domain. So drag this file again onto the command prompt. Okay, and then this time I want to type space forward slash. Sorry domain prep all right after doing this press enter 
Okay. The next girl also says information. Okay, she successfully prepared that domain. Now after doing this, we're done with the command line. So we can close this, we finish preparing our server, our server 2008 R2 from that break. Okay, so after doing this, you can go back to our com my computer. Okay, and then you make sure you have at least minimum of 20 gig free space on your addix. Okay, before you run the server 2012 installation. So I'm going to double click on this. So I break. Okay, so here we have the hello box. Go for install now. Alright, so our installation starts for the server 2012. Okay, so basically we are doing an upgrade and a migration into server 2012. Okay, so here it's talking about getting important updates. Okay, so I don't want to get that. I'll just go for no thanks. Okay, because basically you need to make sure your current server machine okay has the complete drivers okay to run with the server 2012. Okay, so if it does not have, you can easily install and then after installation you install the drivers. So I'll go for no thanks. Okay, and then uh, here. I already have server 2008 R2 data center edition. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade to what? Data center 2012, which is, um, yeah, the full installation, which is server with graphical user interface. Okay, and then go for next. All right, so I accept uh, license names, go for next. Okay, now here's it. I wanna make an upgrade. Okay, I don't wanna make a fresh installation. I'll click on the one. Upgrade. Okay, so it's checking for me for the compatibility if I've prepared my server for the upgrade. So if I have not run those commands, it should give me an error here. So I have to cancel my installation. So because I've run that, I can go for next. Okay, so before I go for next, just giving me some information here. Okay, about the drivers. Okay, it might not be compatible or not. Okay, you just have to go for next. All right, and then later on you install your drivers all right so now this will basically take uh, a lot of time okay. approximately 30 minutes depending on the speed of your system okay so started upgrading my windows so I'm just gonna pause this video okay and then come back when it's done okay now take note of this it will reset a couple of times Okay, so you make sure you don't type or press the key. Just let it keep restarting and then finish your upgrade. Okay, so like I said, it's gonna take a couple of time. So let's just wait. All right, so I would be back when it's done. So, all right, guys. So finally got here <coughs> after the up, after the long upgrade. Okay, so I'm just gonna click. Okay, and I see uh, press control of late okay so okay so you have my <coughs> server change job so you have to log in with my password my same password I I've been using right so here we go Our server twenty job <coughs> is now ready use okay so that's just it <coughs> okay I'm gonna widen my screen so with a screen resolution and uh, pop it up to then go for OK. <coughs> Alright, so here we have it. Just like the way we have uh, the Saver 2008, this click on the server manager down here. Okay. Alright, here we have the server manager. Okay, so we want to check if our details, our domain, our user account, everything is still intact. Okay, so here we have server manager. This is a new look. Okay, we'll be doing exploring more on this on uh, future. Videos. Okay, so we have a local server. Okay.
okay, which is the species. Right, so these are the properties of the species. Okay, it's loading. <coughs> okay, we have it. Consider dot com. Okay, we have uh, add space the RAM again every information we need to know. Okay, so here go for dashboard. Okay, back dashboard. Okay, here. So now you can see that we have a uh, BDSDN that we have installed on this server. Okay, right away from uh, 2008 IO2, they are still here. So let's go to ADDS see if my submissions are there so how do we check our user account you go to tools okay and then you go for active directory users computers okay so now go in there you can allow you go for users you can see here we have our boss group is still there we have then user band okay and then everything is intact just like that the DNS as well okay so those are the Commissions are on the DNS. Okay, how about the DNS? So if I want to see the dialog box for the DNS, just have to go for tools and click on DNS. Okay, so my DNS information they are still there intact. Okay, so that is just how you upgrade from your Windows Server 2008 2008 R2. Okay, to Windows Server 24. Thank you for watching. If you find this video truly helpful, please subscribe to my channel. I'm bringing more helpful videos your way. Bye for now.